This right here is the rear drum from my 1967 bus frame. I'd like to try to keep the reduction boxes that are on here, but also put rear disc brakes on it. When I do custom set of rear disc brakes, I like to use a lot of OEM parts. And what that means to me is that I can always get replacement parts for them when I stop at my favorite auto parts place. But if I choose something from, let's say, Willwood, you'll never get past that you're making model question <laughs> when you first walk through the door. So chances are you're probably not going to be able to find parts on it should you be stranded somewhere. Well, I had the idea here that if I should be able to take this off, get that drum out of there, and use a hub from a late model bay window bus, the question was, is it going to fit onto this axle? And a few people told me no, it would not, but a lot of people told me that they didn't know. So while Bill happened to be working on some brakes from the bay window bus, I said, let me borrow that. And that answers my question right there. I can put the nut on the end, and it will need a spacer, but that's nothing that I can't turn down on my lathe. But this is good to know that I can actually use a hub from a bay window bus, and I can actually drill these out to different lug patterns also. And five by 130, the Porsche lug pattern would make it really easy to put a set of Porsche rear brakes on here and I can make a custom uh, bracket for holding them. Not hard stuff. In fact, there may even be something available to do that that I can just purchase. But all in all, that looks like it'll work. And that's actually a good peace of mind. Again, nobody had the answer, so here it is on Duckman's channel.